Hi everyone, welcome back to Sailing Moxie. I'm Matt. As you can see, I've arrived back home in Southern Florida. Very glad to be home. I arrived late last night after a couple days of travel. I spent more than four of the last five years working as a contractor in Afghanistan, so very glad to be home. I'll be heading to the boatyard for the first time today. I'll get to see Moxie, my 154, for the first time, and she'll be going back into the water here in a few days, and I'm very excited to start the adventure. So thanks for watching all the videos, and here we go. It took several days and many flights to get back from overseas. For quite a while, it was hard to tell what day of the week it was and where I was on the planet. Being overseas for so many months at a time, you definitely miss things like good beer and cocktails. But the biggest food craving I had on my return, or any time I traveled outside of Afghanistan for vacation, was good, fresh sushi. And lots of it. I finally arrived back in Florida and made it to where Moxie was in Port Charlotte, which is on Charlotte Harbor at the mouth of the Peace River, leading to the Gulf of Mexico. The morning after I arrived, we jumped into the truck and drove to Safe Cove, the boatyard where I'd had Moxie moved when I had bought her and where all of the work had been performed by professionals in my absence. Safe Cove was about a half hour drive away over the Mayaka River. I had driven past this boatyard many times before, seeing all the large boats, and I had always dreamed of owning a large sailboat myself in Florida. Now that was all a reality. It was a great feeling arriving at the boat yard for the first time, knowing I would get to see Moxie. The staff at Safe Cove and all the local professional mechanics and riggers had really made their refurbishment process easy for me, being thousands of miles away. This was my first time seeing Moxie in person. She was a beautiful sight. The biggest impression I had of her right away was how long and sleek she was. She looked like a fast boat. Plus she also looked to be in very good condition. The rigging looked great and I knew she now had a solid hull after all the work that had been performed. Her new bottom looked fantastic. Here I am stepping aboard her for the first time to get a better look. I knew there was a lot more work to perform, but she felt solid under my feet. One of the first tasks was to remove a lot of the equipment and interior furnishings so I could get to work getting her ready for the water. I started on this the very next day. I figured I'd start with a pretty simple project. Uh, to get the boat back in the water, we have to put on the new name and the hailing port uh, for Coast Guard requirements. So the name of the boat is on the back here, uh, but the hailing port was down on the cover of the uh, dinghy locker here, so I've removed that. That was fairly simple. Uh, if you can see, it's just uh, some stainless steel uh, hinges here. Those were pretty easy to remove with a with a screwdriver and a, and a wrench on the back. So I've uh, dropped the hatch, uh, the cover for the dinghy locker over the side here. Not sure if you can see it. And uh, I'll take that back and we'll we'll sand it down and resurface it and put the lettering on on the back. But that's where that will be. And then we'll come back to the boat. We'll sand this down and uh, maybe slap a coat of white paint on it and then, then lay the lettering for Moxie on here. While we're down here, you can see that the dinghy locker, in fact, leads off to the port side. If I put the camera in here, you can see what it looks like. Pretty big, pretty spacious, and we're working on the dinghy back in the yard, so we'll have that done in, in another day or two. So here we go. It's not perfect, but I got the lettering back on. Sanded down the surface there to get the uh, old adhesive off and then to get down just to the paint, the bare paint, uh, with an orbital sander. That only took a few minutes and then uh, wiped it down with acetone and I lined up the lettering with tape and uh, slapped it on. It doesn't need to be perfect, uh, but at least we'll be legal and we'll get it back on the boat here in a day or two. Some of the fabric and hull connections for the dinghy that had come with the boat had come loose. We spent a few hours applying G-Flex to these points and applying pressure to bring the dinghy back up to usable condition.
Here she is with the dinghy locker door back in place, with the new name and hailing port finished up. A few days later, and with a few more projects under our belt, it was time to get her off the stands and onto the travel lift to splash her. This is Moxie's first time returning to the water since I bought her. This was a proud moment for many people involved. It was during this launch that someone came up to us who had seen the Sailing Moxie videos on YouTube. It was awesome to meet someone who had followed her progress so far. The very next day, we motor sailed her across Charlotte Harbor to Punta Gorda, where she would take up her new home at the marina, where I would eventually live aboard her. I'll have more on this adventure with a few minor hiccups in a future video. Moxie finally made it to her new home just as the sun was setting. It was a great feeling having her in the water again after so many months of work on her and being so far away before getting to see her. I was now ready to continue her refit and upgrades and begin my adventures with her. It took me a while to make another video. Since my return home, I've taken trips in Florida, to New York, Amsterdam, Rome and the Italian coast, France, Monaco for the Grand Prix, Norway, California, San Antonio, New Orleans, and Boston. Plus far more layovers in Atlanta than I can count. I've also been pretty busy with Moxie's refit and took my courses in support of getting my captain's license, just for fun. I'll be posting more videos soon, so be sure to subscribe. I'm also a writer. If you'd like to support me, my books are available on Amazon, Kindle, iTunes, and Audible. All proceeds will be used to support Moxie and her refurbishment. Thank you for your support. For Sailing Moxie, I'm Matt, and we'll see you next time.